In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, welcome as we celebrate the Eucharist with all of its healing power. Think about your need for healing right now. And let us go to the throne of God's grace and mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God.
reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, stand there or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs to the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself, away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and, spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and ground and said to him, Ephata, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, he has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The seven sacraments are special moments of God's healing and God's grace. Two of them, the sacrament of penance and the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, which many of you have already received, are special times where Jesus comes and manifests his healing power. But also, think about the healing power of matrimony and holy orders. Think about the healing that comes to us through the sacraments of baptism and confirmation. 
and today. I come just to put this seed with you, to plant this seed. There's healing in the Eucharist because these encounters with the living God, these encounters where the Holy Spirit visits us, where the power of Jesus is manifest and the Father's glory comes to us in living signs through His Son, remind us that God is still in the healing business, still in the miracle and deliverance business. Case in point, today Jesus goes to the area having left the side of the, of outside of, the, of Israel, have gone to Tyre and Sidon. Now he comes back home and is visiting the ten cities around the Sea of Galilee. A person comes to them, like um, who can't speak and can't hear. And look what Jesus does. He not only lays hands, but then he spits and on the ground puts his finger in the ears and touches the man's tongue with his own saliva. What an intimate encounter with the healing of God. And yet doesn't that happen in Eucharist? Isn't every Eucharist that same kind of intimate encounter with the Lord? I'm encouraging today to have not only take advantage of the opportunity to invite your, your the, to invite G, the Eucharistic ministers to come to your place where you are and bring Jesus, but also to encourage your family and friends to receive this sacrament. As a sign of healing in baptism, we are, every baptism, we say, may the Lord God open your ears to hear his word and open your lips to receive, speak his praise. May that be your legacy, your inheritance today as Jesus comes and heals you. We stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Christ our Savior brought his healing message of reconciliation to our world. We ask the Lord to open our eyes and ears to hear and proclaim his gospel. For the church, may she confidently offer her teaching and healing mission in every corner of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the ill and handicapped, May they encounter the healing love of Christ that he embodied during his ministry on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an openness to life within the sacrament of marriage and an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and a permanent diaconate, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the medical profession, may they serve the human person and consider both the physical and spiritual dignity of the patients. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we make our prayers to you, knowing that you will give us all we ask and heal us with your love through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with your angels and archangels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, and I forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. There is healing in the Eucharist. We encourage you to involve your whole family in this ministry of healing by inviting those, your family or friends, to be with you as you invite Eucharistic ministers to come and bring you this healing, holy, blessed sacrament. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go 
and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you cannot attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call 1-866-507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilica tv mass. We always say that where there's a need, there's a night. And uh, I think you really see that. You, you see that in this ministry. I started this in memory of my twin brother, Brian. Knowing Father McGivney took care of the homeless in his time, we are doing his work at our time. People have a fear of giving money. So we decided to craft a bag and fit what we could into a one gallon Ziploc bag. It's hard for any of us to change the world. And I don't think the Lord is calling us to change the world, but I think what he's calling us to do is to change our little piece of the world. And I think that's what you see Donna and Walter doing. They're really changing Waterbury and they're improving the lives of the homeless here in Waterbury.